In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about positive and negative rational numbers. First, let's start with positive rational numbers. Now we know that a rational number is of the form p over q, where p can be 0 or it can be a positive integer or it can be a negative integer. q on the other hand cannot be equal to 0 but it can be a positive integer or it can be a negative integer. Let's take a few examples. Let's say 5 over 7, 9 over 8, 1 over 100, 500 over 1000. In all these cases, in all these four examples, the positive, the numerator and the denominator in all these examples are actually positive integers. 5 is positive, 7 is positive, 9, 8 are positive, 1 and 100 are positive, 5 and 1000 are positive. In all such cases where the numerator and the denominator both are actually positive integers, are actually positive integers, then we say that the rational number is actually positive rational number. Right. You want to take some few more examples? 1 over 2. Okay. And 3 over 1000. Right. You want in these two examples? The numerator and the denominator both are actually positive integers. Therefore, they are positive rational numbers. Let's move to negative one. If your number that is p over q that is, this is uh, the form of a rational number. If p is, if p is negative integer, if p is negative integer, right, and q is positive integer, q is positive integer, then your rational number will be a some different color will be a negative a negative rational number right so let's take a few examples minus 5 or 7 minus 3 or 8 minus 2 or 1 minus 6 or 1000. In all these cases, in all these cases, the numerator is actually positive integer. The numerator is actually, sorry, is actually negative integer. This is minus 5, negative, 7 is positive, minus 3 is negative, 8 is positive, and so on and so forth. So, these all satisfy this condition that is p that is a numerator is a negative integer and q is a positive integer. Such rational numbers are called negative rational numbers. These all are negative rational numbers. Okay. Take this one. Minus 5 over 7. Minus 5 over 7. Okay. We said that this is a negative rational number because the numerator is negative. But just let me flip the position of negative sign and let me write it as 5 or minus 7. Now think, is it a negative rational number or what? Now if you remember, in our earlier video, we have discussed this point that if a rational number is of the form minus p over q, then this will be equal to p or minus q and we can write it as negative sign here just alongside this divided divide sign and then p or q you can see here this is with p but the negative sign now here it is with minus sign and in this we can write both these two as this one this negative in the middle that is just alongside this negative divided sign and p over q. 
And if you want to see how, then you just go and check our previous video or earlier video. But still, I'm going to you know prove it here, and it's based on the concept of equivalent rational numbers. Okay, this is minus p over q, right? If I multiply minus p over q with the same number and that number b is let's say it is it is minus 1 we are multiplying both the numerator and the denominator with minus 1 so this becomes minus p times minus 1 and this q times minus 1 and this becomes p over minus q so can you see that we are actually getting what the same thing and how did we prove it we uh, how we have proved it using the concept of equivalent rational numbers where we multiply the numerator and the denominator both with the same number so we are getting this one and therefore we can write it in this form where this negative sign is here just alongside this divided uh, symbol or sign whatever it is and p over q right what does this mean this means that this minus sign can go with either with p the numerator or with q or denominator right and if you want to see in this case let me show you here this is minus 5 over 7 so minus 5 over 7 if i multiply this with minus 1 multiply this with minus 1 the same number the numerator and the denominator both so this becomes minus 5 times minus 1 and 7 times minus 1 this gives you 5 or minus 7 right you're getting this number only so these are actually equal since this is equal to this one so we can say that 5 or minus 7 is actually equal to minus 5 or 7 right what we have written here and what we can see here it means that if your numerator is positive and the denominator is negative integer if your numerator is positive integer but the denominator is negative integer even in that case even in that case your number will be a negative rational number the definition of negative rational number is will remain the same that is your numerator should be negative and the denominator should be positive but as we can see here even if our rational number is, in, is of the form p over minus q where q is a negative integer of course is a negative then we can see we, we have just seen that it is actually equal to p minus p over q only so even in this case even in this case this we can prove that it is a negative rational number by this thing remember this one it's very important okay now let's move to next point zero is neither a positive nor a negative rational number what it's saying that if the number is zero this is neither positive nor negative rational number and why it is important as we have discussed earlier we can write this number 0, 0 is what? Is an integer and every integer is actually what? Is a rational number. All integers are rational numbers. We have discussed this in, our, in the introductory video to on um, rational numbers, right? So this 0 can actually be written as what? 0 divided over 0 over we can write it as 0 over 1, we can write it as 0 over 2, we can write it as 0 over 1000, we can write it as 0 over 1 lakh. Doesn't matter what you take in denominator, even you can take it 0 divided by minus 100, 0 divided by minus 10 lakh, 3, 2, 5. Okay, so in all these cases in all these cases whenever your numerator is zero you are going to get back you are going to get the 
final outcome as zero only right so we can see here that since zero can be uh, written as in all these forms where your denominator can be uh, positive also and denominator can be negative also but zero is a zero zero is neither a positive integer or a negative integer zero is neither a positive rational number nor a negative rational number zero is zero not a post it's not a positive integer nor a negative integer it's not a rational positive rational number not uh, nor a negative rational number zero is simply zero the king okay rational numbers of the form minus p or minus q it's saying that if your rational number is in this form minus p or minus q then what is this is it a positive rational number or a negative rational number or none of these. So what does positive rational number mean? Positive rational number means that your numerator should be positive and the denominator should also be positive. Both the numerator and the denominator should be positive. Okay. So in that scenario, it cannot be positive. What does negative says? Negative says that your numerator can be, uh, should be uh, negative and denominator should be positive. But since we have seen that even if our denominator becomes uh, negative then also we can write it in this form where we can flip change this uh, position of this negative sign and we can write it in this form therefore this becomes negative rational number but here we have both both the numerator and the denominator are actually negative so again the concept of equivalent equivalent rational numbers and I'm um, again repeating please go to the playlist watch our earlier videos we have discussed this point what we are going to discuss now this is what minus p or minus q if I if I multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the same number if I multiply them with minus 1 what do I get I get minus p times minus 1 minus q times minus 1 and you get p over q oh magic right that is minus p minus q is equal to p over q it means that if you both and why it is equal because these two are actually equivalent fractions since we have multiplied with the same number, uh, numerator and the denominator with the same number, therefore we are getting actually equivalent fractions. So in this case, minus p over minus q is equal to p over q. These are equivalent fractions and we can see here, if the numerator and the denominator both have negative sign, that is both are negative integers, then they can be written in the form of this rational number where both are actually positive numbers. Therefore, we can say on this basis, that whenever you are dealing with this scenario, this is actually what? A positive rational number because both the numerator and the denominator are actually positive integers. Examples? Yes, let's take a few examples. Minus 8 over minus 7, minus 1 over minus 6, minus 2 over minus 3. This can be written as 8 over 7. This can be written as 1 over 6. This can be written as 2 over 3. And these are all positive rational numbers.